Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a really interesting mini computer for several reasons that I will share with you one of them being that having in mind that we have tested the hardware that it's right over here probably for the billing optimization it's running higher and it's giving more performance than the same hardware on other machines. And I will share those numbers with you in just a few moments. In terms of the design, it's the first thing that I do really enjoy when I did take it out of the box. Now it's really compact and it has roughly 12.5 centimeters by 11.5 and four centimeters thickness. And in terms of build quality, it's great because it's all metallic. You can see right over here this dark metallic, which is really, really tough and it gives a nice feeling to it. And where it's not metallic, it has this grill right over here on the left hand side, on the right hand side, and also on the top, which will be used to help out the cooling system on both sides, on the top and also here on the back, we can see the grill of the CPU. I did upgrade the machine, so I had to open it up, but I didn't open completely. So I will show you an image that it's on Billig website that will show us the way that it was assembled in terms of the cooler. I do believe that it's really well designed in terms of the concept, and probably it's that that will make this CPU right over here rump up higher than other machines with the exact same CPU that we have seen. So design-wise, really awesome. We have two HDMIs at the back, 2.0, so 60 Hz at 4K, two USB 3.0 and one gigabit Ethernet. Then at the front, we will have another two USB 3.0, one USB Type-C, audio out, power on, off button, and a clear QMOS, which basically is if we want to reset our motherboard. This is really clever. It's not really usual to see on machines such as this, but it's very useful for those that want to change settings on the BIOS. And then later on, they want to do a complete reset, just bam, and that is it. We don't need to open the machine. Really clever. So congratulations to Billing to achieve a few things right over here, including this one, which looks very simple, but usually brands forget that. Now, in terms of the hardware, it has the AMD Ryzen 7 3750H, which is a hardware that we have tested here on the channel. It comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. There is a version that comes with eight, so it will be a little bit cheaper, but we can upgrade up to 64. I did upgrade up to 32 using the Sabrent Rocket DDR4 memory, really easy to upgrade. And it also comes with 512 gigs of SSD NVMe, which is really fast. I will share the uh, speed test with you. 2000 megabytes per second on reads and 1500 on writes. We can also upgrade up to two terabytes the NVMe. I did upgrade with the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, which is the fastest on the planet. We can also add an extra SSD or HDD right over here. So we have these three upgrade options, the RAM, the main SSD and the secondary SSD or HD. Now, one other thing that I really enjoyed is that once we open these screws right over here, we will have access to everything. Now, the second unit of SSD was one of the fastest and easiest ways that I've seen so far. Everything is connected. I just need to slide in the 2.5 inch SSD and it will remain right over there. Then I put the screws back and I'm in business. If I want to remove it, I just push with the screwdriver and it's off. NVMe, RAM, all on the same spot, which is great from billing, but this is what should be done with every single computer. Really easy way to upgrade everything accessible after we remove these four screws right over here. It has Wi-Fi 5 and I got roughly 240 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload. Bluetooth 4.0 and it comes with Windows 11 Pro. I've seen some specifications, I'm not really sure if it was on Amazon or what not, stating that it comes with Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home, but it has Windows 11 Pro. Performance wise, Geekbench and Cinebench, so that you can see right over there the results, which are not bad at all. But if we compare to other machines, I will post 
the sheet right over here of the latest machines that we have seen you'll see that it's not on first place it is on third at this moment but it's quite above from the latest machine that we have seen with the exact same hardware in terms of cpu and ram so this leads me to think that billing did a optimization in terms of the cooling that will leave the cpu with its raw performance available to go up without thermal throttling whatsoever and giving us better scores talking about scores uh, of course we will be able to work with word excel powerpoint and of course if we want to do some multimedia browsing 4k youtube or netflix or whatever you want to watch it will be more than fine even plex server that we have tested here on the past so this is just a great mini computer if you want to use either on office or on a living room for multimedia but if you want to play some games we did test it out a little bit further and i went up with forza horizon 4 i did reduce the graphics to almost the lowest and I was getting roughly 40 frames per second, which is great for this computer and this particular game. It's not the latest game available, but it's a game that I really enjoy. And the experience was quite nice. 40 frames per second, really, really nice for the computer that we have right over here. I also tested with Fortnite and here we cannot go as far. Now, I did put everything to the lowest, so the graphics are not very pleasant. Uh, to see but it's playable it's getting roughly 30 frames per second most of the time sometimes it would do a quick drop and we can feel that drop but most of the time i did enjoy playing so this will be the limit that we can get in terms of gaming and of course we can use other games as an example but these i think it's a baseline so that you have an idea of what this machine is able my suggestion for these machines is always if you want to play triple a gaming then cloud gaming for example like xbox and then you will be able to play everything which is what i do right over here in terms of accessories comes with the manual comes with two hdmi cables which is another smart thing because if we want to use the monitor plate to put it on the back of a display then the mini hdi cable will be great power adapter and basically this is it in my opinion a great machine in terms of the overall aspect great build quality all metallic all over the place small footprint easy to upgrade and a great performance for its class that being said if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one